hi guys and welcome back to my channel you go here to tender welcome to marvelous encouragement welcome to 2024 happy new year everybody i hope that you crossed over into the new year in some brilliant way whether you were doing something or just relaxing both are good so now now that we're in 2024 let's get down to business i've already started my weight loss journey as you know i started on the 26th of december because for me, it was just a matter of there is no time like the present. And that might be where you are now. There is no time like the present. So in the here and now, let's get started. I'm just going to show you three meals that I've had since I started. And I love these meals because they're a great um, sort of combination of speedy food and protein and free foods. Um, I would like to start really simple i like to start by not over snacking i'm not saying that's the best way to do it some people start really well by having lots of snacks and they're cut down i like to go a little bit cold turkey because if i start i struggle to stop so i have started kind of like really clean that's what works for me and then i introduce the little snacks a little bit later on so typically my breakfast has been like uh, yogurt and fruits um, and then lunch has been sort of some sort of vegetable and some sort of meat. Um, for my hex bees, I've been having uh, the Whoppertons uh, pizza breads. But anyway, let me just show you just three meals um, of what I've been having um, on a regular basis, if I'm honest. Uh, my free food has been rice. Um, but yeah, let me show it to you, as I keep saying. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and let's do this together. I've lost um, four stone on Slimming World before, sadly gained it back. So, but I can do it again, right? I can do it again and I'm going to look fabulous and I'm going to feel fabulous. Um, yeah, I just know it. I know the feeling of losing four stone. And because I know it, it's, it's worth every effort. And guys, there will be hard days. We will fall, but we will rise again. Now let me show you my three meals and I'll see you on the other side. Typically you would think I'll show you breakfast first, but I promise you guys, if you want to lose weight, have this. Lots and lots of speed with your protein and a little sauce of whatever it is that you fancy so that it doesn't get boring. And this is my favorite lunch, easy to have at work. So... You know, I can either have the salad on the side and then the pita bread with the uh, light um, laughing cow cheese. Or in this case, what I did is I took the laughing cow cheese. I spread it inside my Wapatons pita um, bread, which is actually a hex B. And then I put the ham in there, put the tomatoes in there. I've got lettuce, I've got uh, peppers and I've got beetroot. Stuffed everything in there. And it was so scrumptious. Like, guys, mm, so good. I highly recommend it. I could eat this every day and just swap around the spreads and the meats. But essentially keep everything else the same. Um, it definitely helps. In the corner, I don't know if you can see, I've got like Diet Coke there. I just keep it in my office just in case. And my favorite dinner has been this. So chicken again. You can use chicken, you can use beef or whatever. But I've been eating a lot of chicken Lots of different colored peppers because I just think that when food is colorful, it's so gorgeous. I've got passata tomato, which is also a speed and all my favorite spices in there. I did put a little drop of lemon just to give it that tanginess and a hot chili just to give it a little bit of a kick. I made myself a coleslaw from scratch, used minimal sauce, measure everything so you know you don't go over your sins. But guys, I enjoyed making this meal and when I ate it, mm, I didn't feel like I was on a diet at all. So I measured my rice so that I didn't have too much and served my meal on a nice smallish plate so that I don't overdo it. I know that uh, the last time I ate this, I also then had like a little small pot of yogurt after and a pear just so I felt like I had a little dessert as well. So, so, so good. You know, if you cook in your kitchen, whatever you cook, sit down and just appreciate the works of your hands. It feels good. And yeah, the way I appreciated this meal, I don't know. Yeah, it was just to another level. Like, I enjoy cooking so much. So I'm going to do a lot of that and share with you. 
Thank you so much for watching my video. I appreciate you so much. I will see you in the next one. You take care and God bless.